Genetech takes the top position, Softwire 11 has been released, that and a bunch more updates on this episode of the Inside Track. For the 15th year in a row, Genetech has come out on top as being one of the top employers in all of Montreal. Now, I can tell you from my own personal experience, this is an incredible place to work. And if you, as an industry professional, uh, either in the, the security side of the house or in the software engineering world, are looking for a great place to come work, I will throw a link down below. And trust me, I am doing you the biggest favor in the world. Come to Genetech, you will not be disappointed. In hardware-related news, there are a bunch of new pre-wired kits available from Life Safety Power through Genetech. These kits are either starter kits, which will include a cloud link, uh, or expansion kits, which won't include a cloud link because you don't need one if you're expanding. The kits are going to feature Mercury hardware uh, pre-wired in uh, usually four door or eight door configurations. The whole point here is to take the guesswork out of your uh, of your operation, right? Why should you have to buy the boards and then wire them up yourselves when somebody else can do all that work for you, thereby saving tons of time uh, for your technicians so that they can be out doing the things that make more sense, like actually hanging the boards, wiring them up, and finishing more projects on time. What's more, Genetech is actually including the Netlink module from Life Safety Power. This thing actually allows you to get a lot of really unique diagnostic information and actually allow you to reset some ports uh, remotely. So rather than having to dispatch a technician to just turn it on and turn it off, you can do a lot of that stuff remotely. If you'd like more information on Life Safety Power, the Netlink module, or the pre-wired kits, I will throw links down below. Are you even a fan of Life Safety Power? I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of different power supply companies out there. Um, Life Safety Power is one of my favorites. What do you guys use? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the new Life Safety Power enclosures. And finally, in product-related news, Softwire, or more specifically at the time of this release, Softwire 11.1. There are a number of key features and benefits and updates, and I will throw a link down below to the Tech Doc Hub article that talks all about, like if you want to read a laundry list of new features and, and whatnot, that's a great place to go. But there are some, uh, some really cool benefits that I'd like to highlight here. First and foremost, you now have the ability to monitor the inputs on the cloud link. That's a, that's a huge new upgrade. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the cloud link, I'll throw a link up top so that you can, uh, you can view my 101 course on what the heck a cloud link is. There's also new firmware certifications for a wide variety of access control uh, manufacturer hardware. So Asa Abloy, Allegion, Deister, Honeywell, Mercury, uh, to, to name just a few. Again, click the link down below to the Tech Doc Hub article to, uh, to see exactly which makes models and firmwares are now supported. And finally, and, and this one for me is probably like the biggest one. If you watch my video on access control best practices or on any of the videos that I did on OSDP, you'll know that, you know, Genetech has been leading the charge in the security of security for a long time. And while most people think that that relates specifically to video, the truth is it has a lot to do with access control as well. Uh, I can't tell you how many times uh, folks tell me, oh, yeah, we're, we've got this really secure facility, we've credentialed everybody, and when you ask them what type of card, te <laughs> card technology they're using and, and reader technology they're using, they will, they will without, a, uh, without a flinch and with a straight face, say, we are using Wiegand protocol with 26-bit proximity cards. And I want to bash my head up against the wall. Well, in this version of SoftWire, we now support uh, not just OSDP, which we've supported for, uh, for a long time, almost since its infancy, but we are now able to push firmware updates to the readers and software updates as well. So any sort of configuration changes that need to be made at the reader level or firmware changes that need to be made at the reader level, we can actually push that out through Synergis. That's a fantastic feature, not just of Genetech Security Center and of Synergis and of Softwire, but really of OSDP. That is unheard of 
with Wigan protocol. And if you're still using Wigan protocol, and if you, yes, I'm talking to you, if you are still recommending Wigan protocol products and 26 bit proximity cards to your customers, I implore you to please stop. Now, I haven't upgraded my cloud link for a while, so let me show you how easy it is to upgrade from software version to software version using the Synergist update tools. So first things first, you've actually got to get the uh, the new version of software. And where do you go to get that? Well, you go to portal.genetech.com. Enter your credentials and you'll end up here. Go to product downloads, downloads find your product, Synergist software, and then find your version. Synergist Software version 11.1. .1. And you want this one, or at least I want this one, to install on the Synergist Cloud Link only. To install on SV Appliances, what does that mean? So, uh, and again, as stated in previous videos, one of the unique features of the Cloud Link is that it runs Softwire. What is Softwire? It's sort of like the software that makes Synergist tick. For lack of a better for lack of a better term, again, watch the video that I that I have linked down below if you want more information on Softwire. But basically, you can run Softwire outside of a cloud link. Typically, we would recommend that you put cloud links in, like physically at at your location, especially for larger enterprise systems. But for much smaller systems, it's not always necessarily required. And therefore, on our smaller SV100 and SV300 appliances, to make those systems more cost competitive and uh, and easier to attain from from a wide variety of, of the market, right? You're, you're not having to go to the bottom of the barrel of access control manufacturers to get a cost-effective system by including software on the SV100 and SV300 appliances. We've made it a lot easier to, uh, to acquire and a lot less expensive while still giving you all the same features and benefits of like a full-blown version of Genetech Security Center. You're not missing anything without the Cloud Link other than the redundancy that the Cloud Link provides. So for me, I'm going to install the one for the Cloud Link. And I'm going to download that here. And there it goes. And through the magic of video editing, the file has been downloaded and unzipped. It was only a 68 meg file, so it's uh, it was pretty quick. Now I'm in Config Tool, in Access Control. I selected my Cloud Link. And you can even see here, it's recommending Hey, you're running version 10.11. Proposed version is 11.0. We actually have a better one, 11.1. But Genetech Security Center is smart enough to know, hey, you're running an older version. Would you like to upgrade? Why, yes, I would. Click on the upgrade, upgrade firmware. Select your file. Now I know that it was uh, put in C, Genetech, and there's my file, 11.1, open. Upgrade. Now, important, access to doors controlled by this unit will be disrupted during a firmware upgrade. I mean, that should be pretty obvious, but again, just fair warning. If you were concerned about that and you wanted to push it out after hours, you could certainly delay the upgrade until a certain date and time. But we're not going to do any of that. Let's just hit upgrade. If it doesn't look like it's doing much, don't worry. It is. Uh, and you can see here by just clicking on the, the little yellow box, I brought up the diagnosis and it shows me that my firmware upgrade is in progress. So that upgrade should only take a few minutes and when it's done, it's done. And your cloud link is now officially upgraded to version 11.1. .1. So I tried something new today with this video and tried to give you a little bit of a, more of like a news and update type feel. Did you like it? Leave me a comment down below. Did you not like it? Leave me a comment down below. If you'd like to get more content like this, again, leave me a comment. Let me know if you'd like more sort of like behind the scenes type information, or maybe I should just stick with features and functions. I'm, I'm asking you. My name's Phil Coppola. I'm the regional sales manager for Genetech in the great state of New Jersey. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button to receive more great content like this, and we'll see you on the next one.